What's going on, guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with another episode of Beer Views. Tonight, we're going to be reviewing a Truly product, this one being the Margarita Style Classic Lime. This is coming in at 5.3% ABV. And this is a hard seltzer, obviously. And my screen went black. There we go. Made with real fruit juice from concentrate. And I believe this is a 24 ounce can. Yep, 24 ounce can. I got this at my local Walmart neighborhood market and this was, I believe, 2.98 before tax. That's usually the case with all of their big cans. Unless it's like a 32 ounce or something like that. Make sure my camera don't fall here or my phone. All right, so I saw this and I, was just looking for something to review, honestly. I'm trying to find, it's not always easy finding products around me to review, like new products. So anything new I see, I usually pick it up. So this was something, I don't know if it's new, but I know that I haven't seen it before. So I grabbed it. So let's go ahead and crack the top and get into this. I really hope the camera picked that sound up because I just heard some spooky, spooky UFO type stuff. Did you hear that train? The train? That was a train? Uh -huh. Here? I thought it sounds like a UFO. That's my girlfriend. She's in the other room. She heard it. It's debunked. It's a train, not a UFO, unfortunately. Okay, so right off the bat, it kind of smells like you get the lime. It almost kind of smells like a 7-Up or a Sprite, actually. I do get the margarita smell, though. Almost like a lemonade or something. It smells good. Let's get it into a glass and see what we got. Boy, I tell you, I hate that. My country, my country accent just came out. Boy, I tell you, I tell you what. I just spilled that all over my leg. I always do that with these big cans. I don't even have to fill it up that much. I don't know why I do that. Jesus Christ. Boy, this is a blooper real fucking friggin' beer review if I ever seen it. I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's one of them. We're going to keep rolling, though, because here at Beer Views, we keep it real. All right. You put this over here. And the camera falls again. I don't have a case on my phone right now, so I guess it's kind of causing it to slide. Okay. Let me change the lighting real quick so we can see the code of this thing. Let me just turn on the white light. It is a very cloudy see the bubbles on the side of my glass dirty glass mafia y'all it looks like most of their products that's the hazy white drink let's get a smell out of the glass it smells very similar to something else that i've had recently it was probably another truly product actually I know I think I did one of, like within the last month, I'm sure. You smell the lime, you smell, it's very citrusy, obviously. It's smells almost sour in a way, but that's the lime. I'm not really picking up any alcohol notes or anything like that. Go back to the green. So let's dive in. Cheers, guys. Right off the bat, you taste tequila. Now, guys, I used to drink a lot of Jose Cuervo Silver tequila back when I first started drinking because it was, I could get a big bottle of it for like $23 at Walmart. And back then, I was a single guy living by myself 
working a part-time job and I didn't have a whole lot of money. I was getting probably less than 200 bucks a week. I think my checks were literally like 175 a week. So that doesn't leave a whole lot left when you have bills. So I would try to get the cheapest thing possible. And my screen timed out again. I would go for the cheapest thing possible. So I would get tequila a lot. Well, it's one of those things you drink enough of it, you get sick on it a couple of times, you kind of never want it again. Now, I don't know if there's actually tequila in this. Agave nectar. That's what I'm tasting because that's what they use in tequila. I taste it. And I think I actually had another one by these guys where I tasted it. Yep. That's the tequila. Or the agave that I don't like. That's I guess that's why I don't like tequila. It's just a weird flavor to me. I'm not a big fan of that. That that weird agave nectar, whatever it is, I'm just not a big fan of it. And it's pretty prevalent in this. Now, it's not overpowering. I can drink this. It's not the worst thing that I've ever had, even not even close. But it's in there just enough that I notice it. And I can already tell you, I wouldn't buy this again. But most of these I would never buy again anyway because I'm a beer guy, not a hard seltzer guy. I pick these up simply because if there's a new product out there that I see, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a review. I'm not biased. I try everything I can get my hands on. Anything new, I give it a shot. Everything gets a fair sh gets a fair shot on this channel. Always. It's no different with the hard seltzers. If there's something new that comes out, it looks interesting. People are talking about it, or if someone wants me to review it, it's getting reviewed. This is one of those products. As far as a rating, I'll give it a solid five and a half out of 10. It's not for me. It might be for you if you like the taste of tequila, if you like agave, lime type flavors. This might be something you might be interested in. But for me, it's just not something that I'm particularly liking. We'll go ahead and give it one more sip before we head out of here. I think it would be better if it didn't have that. If it didn't have that, everything else tastes fine. But that's the review. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to try in the future, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try to find it and give it a review. As always, until next time, cheers. Thanks for watching.